Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, I know. <clears throat> Go ahead. Shots fired. Right. We we accept. So y'all been absent for two goddamn weeks. But what had happened was, <laughs> y'all know when it's time for us to go out of the country, we never let you all know because we just can't be exposed like that. Right. By the time y'all miss us, most of the time we're back. We just don't be on camera yet. Right. So if you ever see us missing for a period of time, just know what you thought had happened already had happened. We back home. So what had happened was we had a good motherfucking time. Yeah. We like 17 shades darker. <laughs> As you can see. Oh, I, I bucked my thumb up. <laughs> we bit all up. Stanley got stung on his nipple by a jellyfish. Right. You had to put that out there, right? It was a lot. It was a lot. But listen, if you have not been keeping up with our Insta stories, you're a little bit behind. So go ahead and make sure that you are following us on Instagram, both channels, so that you can kind of get the behind the scenes. Life with Us TV, which is our vlogging channel, yep. which is also the channel that the vlogs of our vacation adventures will be coming up. We'll just give y'all a little hint. We don't. We visited two countries and one state, two cities yeah. in a period of two weeks. Right. We did a lot. Um, and also make sure you're following us on Instagram on Random TV Reviews. And those vacation videos is going to actually start coming out tomorrow. Yes. Tomorrow evening to be exact. Tomorrow evening is probably around six or seven. They're going to start coming. PM six or seven PM. And they're going to start coming out. Yeah, so we'll drop a link below. Make sure that you subscribe and put your notifications on so you'll be able to see when those things drop. It's going to be exciting, I'm trying to say. I'm not yeah. saying it because look. I'll tell you, yeah. We had a good guy. Though. We yeah, had a we good did. time. Yeah. <laughs> the evidence. I can't show my evidence. Swag <laughs> surfing. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to get right into it. We're going to do Power Episode 5, five. but we're going to reference back to 4 because y'all didn't Y'all yeah. know, and by yeah, the time we just gonna week, talk about it. We just gonna talk. We'll about talk it about it talk because about it. this week a power episode didn't come out, so which was perfect for us. So next right. week we'll be current with y'all. So if y'all looking at this like, oh, power came out with a new episode <clears throat> this week. No, right. We just knew. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so let's pick back up on this week's episode, choosing your freaking bow. So the episode started off with Rock confronting Kanan about the bloody shirt that was under his bed. Remember from the previous episode, the reason why that happened was because he ended up at the stash house with Uncle Marvin. That he's supposed that to be his ass at school. He's at school got broke. They actually rolled up on Kanan because Uncle Marvin left him there by himself to go back to the store to make some drops. When he got back, Neek's crew was there because uh, Davina ratted him out because Uncle Neek had told Davina uh, that, that Pretty much, he can get help for her mama because her mama was base head. He can get help. Matter of fact, he said he helped somebody else and told her this nice story that they, that this other person's mama got rehabilitated or daddy got rehabilitated and need to go to this facility and he will pay for it. But if you got to do me a favor. But you got to do me a favor. So she pretty much told him what she pretty much she told him where the stash house was. So he was over there scoping it out. Uncle Marvin left. They rolled up. When Uncle Marvin got back, they had got, got half the boxes, mm -hmm. and Uncle Marvin went there and he had to end up killing the dude that was still left from Neek's crew that had a gun to pointed at Kane's his head, and he had to, Uncle Marvin had to end up shooting the dude, and that's how all the blood so got, got on his Kane. shirt. And I'm like, Uncle Marvin, boy, the, can the, he ever do right? The A1 buck up. Right. He, and, and the thing about what Uncle Marvin remind, reminds me of, Uncle Marvin reminds me of Kane. And the reason why he remind me of Cain, because you remember, Cain wanted to be the leader over Monet. He didn't want to follow Monet's his direction. That Joe's yeah. direction is that thing that I'm the man. I should be the one that's leading. But we found out in this episode that pretty much Marvin is the same freaking way. I didn't even he, think about that. He Marvin don't want to follow Rock's instruction because. You can tell he want to be in charge. So we fast forward into the episode. You can remember <laughs> where him and Lou was talking. And Lou was like, man, you just need to stop effing up, man. Because I ain't I ain't going to jail for you. Yeah. And or dying. He was like, the stakes are really high. And so he made this comment was like, so you just going to be just on sis titty up for the rest of your life. He was like, no, I'm just doing what I need to do to get what I'm trying to get to. He said, but if I'm on uh, the titty. Yeah, if I'm on the titty, you on the titty. Yeah, I'm, I'm on right. Right. <laughs> right. So that statement alone lets me know that he don't want to really follow his sister. Mm 
Mm -hmm. He, he want to be the one that's, <laughs> that's in charge. But I'm like, just like with Tommy. Tommy wanted to be in charge. He, he's screwing up. Yeah. So everybody that wants to be in charge yeah, nobody don't have the ability there. to be in charge yet. Yeah, sometimes you just the muscle. Right. Sometimes you a hitter. Sometimes you you the mastermind. Say the secret. They're not. The secret to becoming a great leader is, the is being a great follower. A lot of us want to freaking skip steps. So that's all the mom. That's that's my take on it. It's like, and it makes me wonder if if Rock is gonna have to treat him like a, a street ninja, cause it's like, cause I thought slowly but surely right, she is because this is the second time that he put Kanan in danger of almost getting killed. So I'm like, at what point is he not gonna be her brother no more? That you the enemy that you keep on putting mm -hmm. putting That's us at son. risk. That's my son, and you putting us at risk, and he act like it ain't no big deal and lie. <laughs> it's like, oh, your mama just won't find out. Yeah. So speaking of back <laughs> on these day on night classes, this threw me off by a loop because we know Kanan got you know downgraded from the stash house. <laughs> To go into night classes on um during the week and, and on, on Saturday. Saturday. And I was like, you know, being at his age, that's going to school on up. Saturday. Oh, you didn't want to go to school Monday through Friday. Hello. Yet alone on Saturday. But when he walked up in class, got doing Symphony is the got doing. I said, Rod, right, you really didn't have to do that. Yeah. That was a lot. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> uh, the man already intruded on you and your son's uh, <laughs> dinner night. Right. That you forgot about. And yep. I was with Kanan. When Kanan said, you remember though. Yeah. Because Symphony was like, I didn't know. So from now on, I won't intrude on this day. Um, and he was like, that's cool because she knew. I, I get it. Now you're going to make him go to the classes with the dude that he really ain't feeling right now. Because he really just so stepped in on his territory with his mama. Mm -hmm. You're doing a lot. But I liked how you did it though. Right. And I and I um uh we still don't know if this is really real because a lot of y'all in the comments say y'all believe that Symphony is it's the feds, the cops. you know, mm -hmm. the cops that he pretty much is on the inside, you know, waiting for his time to make his arrest. But I am feeling the fact that he is winning over Kanan. And and Kanan was like, you know, the night nice school is pretty cool. And I'm like, for him to say that that's dope, but I do like that Symphony was like uh, I like the person you are that you pay close attention to detail mm -hmm. and for real for real that's 50 for real it really is, <laughs> it really is. and he's uh, the original troll I keep telling people I was like <clears throat> whenever he's out here getting on our nerves it's calculated right he is so calculated like something is coming behind it where he's gonna be able to flip that and make major coin don't pay that crap no buy what he doing. He trolling y'all. You're right. He just like Lil Nas X. They are the original trolls. Right. <laughs> and they do it knowing what we're going to do. And the end of it is money for them. Right. And shout out to Makai Curtis, man. I'm telling you, brother, you got... You got 50 down pat. I, I be I be forgetting sometimes, man. Be like, the I mean, the man is the way he talks. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he got 50. I know we always said it on every review, but I got to give the brother the credit, man. Yeah, he man, don't you open acting, his mouth. You acting your <laughs> tail off, man. You, 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 he really you, is. You doing that thing, man. You doing that thing. And you're more likable than he is. <laughs> for, for, for now. For now. Right. right now. So, Rock has a brilliant plan in my book that we saw that she went to this apartment complex and working with this man this black manager i can't remember his name but yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. it don't it don't even matter but what well, her plan is that she wanted an apartment on the eighth and the seventh floor and at first i was like well what are we doing with this apartment you know mm -hmm. when we was y'all moving in you know marvin no, and luke okay. gonna be downstairs and, and her and kane gonna be upstairs but she told them no we coming off the corner we come, we got the deluxe apartments in the sky. We we're going to let Neek them keep the crumbs on the corners, but we're going to be up here. Watching so everything. so when them ninjas come, we're going to see everything. And if we get busted, there's a shoot that goes from the eighth to down the to the seventh. So if they ever bust in, there's not going to be product in the eighth. I said. But but we thought, but, like, but what if they bust in on the seventh? How are you going to get? Get it back but, up. Yeah, so I, yeah. That, but that was just my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so how are we going? But I do like 
how she thinks ahead. She like she's so calculated thinking ahead. It's like okay, female. yeah, this job is not working. Oh, I see you threw that plug there, female. It is. So you trying to say we ain't calculated like that? Yeah. Did you see how Ghost was moving? And did you see how Tasha was moving 10 steps ahead of him most of the time? There we go. Yeah. There we go. She may not be able to execute like he did, but her steps was always ahead of his. It's not for argument. It's not for debate. But anyway. I said what I said. But, anyway, <laughs> but I think the, the uh, apartment thing was a great idea. But if we go back to the last episode when they got busting on um, at the stash house. Kanan was thinking that stash was the one that ratted them out because when Uncle Marvin went to stash house to get him, stash was like, I got today ain't the day. I got bubble guts. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach not right. I ain't going and doing nothing today. So we see Kanan decide to go roll up on him while they out there playing dice. But of course, the guy that stash is, he ain't about to let this dude roll up and punk him. You know, he got a reputation that he got to keep in the streets. So they got the fighting and the cops, <laughs> cops ended up roll up and, and taking both of them in. But I was like, why? Uh, but but I was like, that's the goal to show you how, you know, Kanan is really not ready. He don't, he don't, he don't know, you know, cause stash to me is the most loyal dude. I mean, you can tell it. He is very, very loyal to rock. Yeah, but when Jukebox told him, said, have you ever thought about your girl? I know you don't want to hear this. Yeah. But have you ever thought about your girl being the one that ratted you out? Oh, he, want, he didn't want to hear He didn't want to hear none of that. No. But that's usually how it go, though. Right. Yeah, because you don't want you don't want to think the person that, you know, you cool with was the one that stabbed you in the back like that. But yeah. such is life, man, you know. But she did choose the lesser of the evil to tell, although it ended up being the bigger price. But I, guess, but I guess you gotta ask yourself, man, if you was in her spot and you know you ain't got no money, you taking care of, of, of a child that's not yours, you struggling, you in the hood. That girl remind me a lot of me when she was like, yeah, I gotta pay a babysitter so that I can go to school. I was <laughs> yeah. like, I've been there. So I get it, you know, I, 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 I get it. You know, you want it, you want out. But yeah, yeah, you want your, you want a normal life. Yeah. Whatever that shall be, because I ain't never had that. <laughs> I'm aspiring for one of those days. I think we're, we've created a normal life for ourselves. Yeah. But our childhood, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's done. I mean, but all of us have a past, man. We all of us came from something. You Some just, you, little, just, you, just yeah. can't, you just can't let your past dictate who you are today. That's you it. can't use that as an excuse. Pretty much. Yeah, so to cut a story, the, your excuse story that you have is the same story as a whole lot of us. Exactly. <laughs> so either you're going to rise above it. Right. Or you're going to let it consume you. Yeah, and use that excuse of why you can't move forward and do what you want to do in life. But I decided. This is Sunday, but we ain't coming to preach. We ain't coming to talk yeah, about the Bible power said I three. decided. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this episode really touched me as far as with Jukebox. This was her oh. as a kid experiencing that level of racism like that. And yeah, it, and it wasn't racism around her like you see it, yeah. you experience it around you. It was like, bah! but But she was kind of like, for back of, lack of better, I'm going to say she was kind of tricked because the parents really loved her and then until I, yeah and then we talked about it was like why would they let her in the house if they thought that way about her but she was like they thought her as you know as the, the project lesser. the lesser the project kid or she can come here and you could she was eating spaghetti and meatballs <laughs> you, yeah, you know yeah. she was like i don't like y'all spaghetti and meatballs that she was telling nicole but it was like she was the person from the projects that they was helping to fix. Because mm -hmm. you remember in the household when the daddy came in, I did like the daddy dog. Yeah, like, what the fuck is going on? Somebody tell me what the hell is going on around here. So I don't think he cared one way or the other. Yeah, I, I don't think it was it's, the mom. It, it was it was the mom. And it usually is YT female. Right. So we found out really that she, it wasn't that she really liked her. It was like. Yeah, I'm helping you out. Because you remember um, when they was cussing, she was like, we ain't no cussing in the house. And she, daddy was like, I know she hear it all the time where she from. And I was like, that's a stereotype. So basically, this you going to be in this house. This is the good household. We don't cuss around here. You know, we don't do the stuff that they do in the hood. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I was taking it at. You know, we we, we battle. That's, that's so, what I was going to say. It's not that they didn't like Jukebox Laverne. Is that, and I've even experienced this. Um, 
not with the level of racism, but I've also, but I've experienced it where I was someone that came from the, like they say, the other side of the tracks. Right. And I had a white friend that we always spent time with. And you always felt like you were being helped. And not just because, oh, this is my daughter's friend. You always feel like, oh, invite her. Let's go to the, to the theme was park. A charity case. As if, yeah, as if we didn't go to theme parks or as if we didn't have opportunities. You know, we may not have had them as frequently as y'all did, but you know, we did do things, but you always felt like they were pulling you along for the experience to be along with them. Mm -hmm. But it was never that y'all were on the same playing field. Right. So I think that's where we were with Laverne. They really liked her until they, they realized that, oh. My daughter's in love with you and y'all. Oh, y'all not just you friends? kissing y'all. Yeah, y'all y'all love us. And it all changes. She was like, I'm going to call the cops and I'm going to, you, you, are, you are repelling. Like you said, rape. I was like, oh, oh see, see, this is why. So you can just tell like how much she was hurt, but I did appreciate Nicole trying to stand up for her and was like, I kissed, I, her. I kissed her. So it was like, okay, because I was wondering if Nicole was going to try to turn it around, but like, oh, she jumped on me, mama. She tried yeah. to rape me, mama. You know, that kind of stuff does happen too. So I do like that she did stand up for her. And I was actually man. hoping, because I knew they was going to get walked in on it. I mean, it was yeah, yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it was kind of. But I was hoping that they would get walked in on <clears throat> when Nicole was on top of Jukebox. Right. Instead of Jukebox being on top of Nicole. Right. Because would y'all had accepted it better when it looked like that your daughter was the aggressor. Right. And not her. Right. <laughs> Good point. So uh, we back down at the at the studio. We gotta talk about this a little bit with uh, mm. uh, DJ Cassidy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ain't, ain't too much. Ain't too much happened there. But I I have a feeling that it's gonna be bad between him and Luke. I mean, you can yeah. just see the tension because he it's just so friend. disrespected. I understand that uh, that uh, I can't. What's name? Um, Jessica. Her name, well, the girl name is Jessica, but uh, I, I can't remember her brother name. That famous, no, famous, yeah, famous. famous. You know, she's trying to help famous get a record deal, but you are flirting with with DJ Cassidy, and you know that Lou don't he don't like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he kind of like tolerating it right now. So, but I do like that he did took advantage of an opportunity when. He was having to be at the studio one day, and Famous was rapping um, because Ju Jukebox, well, not Jukebox, uh, Famous invited Jukebox over to the studio yeah. because Jukebox pissed off at how in the hell you just up and get a, get a deal at, at the and studio for free, getting free money. studio time, and I've been saving my money. Such is life. You see people seem like they get it easy. You you striving to try to get it, and it's just time. and it just handed into their lap. But you know your sister's giving up puss for that. That you know you know I don't know if she had. No, but I don't. Think I, she you has. know I don't know if she had, but but she, she leading him on right. for him to do that. So and he gonna he gonna want to collect. He told her that he was like you know if we gonna do this thing, we need to work a little bit closer together, and we know what that freaking means. Yeah. So. He was at the studio, so the sound guy was like, you know what? He was done. I, I, it's been freaking two weeks, three, three weeks, three weeks, and I ain't got a check. The dudes down the hall, they ain't got a check. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to court. My ex-wife has already taken me to court for child support, and Lou was like, you know what? I got you. I got you. So, he, like, so you the money man? So you the money man right here? He was like, yeah, that's why I ain't here. So he ended up paying him. He was like, well, what about the dudes down the hall? So he ended up paying some money for them. And Uncle Lou was like, and put my daughter, um, put uh, my niece in. Put my niece in, and he was like, nah, it ain't like that. He was like, that's the deal. Yeah. And we found out the reason why Jukebox got the name Jukebox, because when she was growing up, they used to give her a quarter so she could sing. Thanks. So that's Jukebox. I said, that's it, good. And she got up in there and she ripped it, man. Yeah, she did. Yeah, because the girl can sing. The girl can sing for sure, for sure. But I'm glad that, because Uncle Lou, actually been wanting to pay for studio time for her, but he didn't want to freaking disrespect Uncle Marvin. I don't know why. Yeah, <laughs> because like Marvin, yeah, like we say, he don't even care, but I get it. You know, that's that's his daughter. Yeah. So if he don't want it to happen that way, I understand you got to respect his wishes for, for his, his daughter. His daughter. Yeah, so I mean, I mean it, is, it is what it is. Yeah. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I'm starting to side out Uncle Marvin. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm trying yeah. to figure out when is he going to roll over on his sister because he doesn't want to take instructions from a female. Right. And so even and even I was paying attention when because he's supposed to be doing the moment she asked him to do the renovation job. And he was like, I ain't doing that, you know, and she was like. And then you can see when they were ready to do the job, he was looking around like. He was looking around like I should destroy this because I don't yeah. want I don't want this to happen. Mm -hmm. It was something about that look, and I don't yeah. know what it was, and I ain't like it. So we saw uh, Stash was walking down the street. I don't know where the hell he was going, but they so but in the open. I tried to tell you why are they so open? in the open. So he turned around and saw um, Rock coming. He was like, "In the oh, oh skit, you know." She rolled up. He was like, I had to, I had, I had no choice. I had, I had, I had a reputation to keep. So she didn't even know at that point. She didn't know the dad got, the, got a little yeah, tussling. He, so then it switched over and we saw him going in and talking to Neek. We was like, wait a minute. Now, we just were talking about that we trust that. And now he over there with Neek and talking about some F rock. I'm about my earnings. Yeah, you know, like, I need I need to be somewhere well, where I'm, I'm appreciated. And I was like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. this is not adding up. Then I thought back to the truck. I said she they never him. they they never talked about what happened in the truck. We don't know what it, but yeah, we thinking that this is a setup for him to get on the inside to figure out what Nick and them are doing. Exactly. So so that she can get in and mess up his kid. Yeah, because I was like, none of that makes sense at yeah. all. But better not turn your back on Neek. We saw what Neek did to his homeboy. Yeah, in the last beginning episode. of the last episode, and I was like, "Wow, Neek!" Yeah, Damn. they grew up together. But like Fifty was like in the game, the history don't even matter. Nope. But shoot, that 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 one ain't, that one won't apply to the game. That that, that apply in life. Real yeah, fast. friends and family turn on you all the time, and you ain't did nothing. Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> So Rock see that basically she can't keep Kanan out the game. Mm, that was sad. Kanan was like, Ma, you need to stop playing me. I was like, you got away with saying something like that to your mom? But yeah. I get it. He, he was talking game game talk. And it um, reminded me of when <clears throat> they had back Tariq, Ghost, and Tasha. Yep. Where they knew that if we didn't teach him the right way, he was gonna go out there and learn it the wrong way. Right. So she really, she was like, I can't even believe I'm gonna do, do this. this. <laughs> but rule number one: don't ever cook where you lay your head. Right. I said, there you go. And she took him through the steps. But she kind of put a twist on us. She was like, the only way I'm teaching you is because just in case I'm not here, you can be able to step up to the game. And he and she was like. I only told you that because you didn't really know, but now that you know what you know, I can't make that I can't guarantee, guarantee make, that, make that guarantee. And, and he looked at her like, hmm. "Oh no!" So like, yeah. yeah, so she 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 taught she taught him how to cook. But uh, here is the curveball right here. This because you remember Symphony was the one that came down to the police department to pick up right. Kanan because he called, you know, because after they got good with the classes and he ended up taking um, uh, Kanan home, not home, but dropped them off because he didn't want to go all the way home. He, uh, Symphony gave him the number, your mama gave him the number, like anything you need, call me and opportunity. Not, nah, he called. Yeah, he did. And after they had left, Detective uh, Detective Howell was looking at the screen. So we, we had originally thought that he had looked up Symphony. Uh, yeah, I thought he had ran Symphony. And we thought he was looking at Symphony's Sim rap sheet, but he was actually looking at, uh, what's his name? Dang. Kanan's daddy that we thought was his dad. Yeah. Uh, J-Rock. D-Rock? Yeah. No. Well, y'all y'all, no, y'all, y'all watch the episode. So the detective came to Rock at the end of the episode was like, he was in jail. He was in, he was locked up in October of 1974. And he stayed there. And when Kane came was down at the at the station, he told me he was born in August of I think it was 75. 75 or 76. August 75. Ain't no way that that boy belongs to him. Him. That's my son, and me and you know. I was like, what? I said, what? Rah. What? She went now. <laughs> I was like, is anybody gonna tell? 
So now, I don't, I don't, because we were kind of side-eyeing Detective anyway. We was like, I feel like he a dirty cop, but mm -hmm. it sounds like he was in the game at one point. Yeah, because if, so because if he was with her, he... And right behind yeah. her being with what they call the kingpin. Right. How you not? Yeah. Or be close enough to it that you can spit on it. So, yeah, so we got our eye on Marvin, Uncle Marvin. Mm -hmm. We got our eye on Detective Howard. Who else we got our eye on? I ain't keep my eye none of them. <laughs> Real talk, Davino. I mean, Davina just want to get out of the hood. I, I, I feel She I, just want her mama to get some help. And yeah. I feel like I've been there, been there. Yep. So that was pretty much Yeah, that it. was that was pretty um, much the episode, man. Y'all get down in the comments. Let us know what y'all thought. Sorry, you know, like we said, we've been gone for a couple of weeks, but you know, we're doing our vacate thing. Yes, Lord. Yes indeed. Like I said, you know, you know, rock on over to the Life With Us TV channel and you'll be able to start tomorrow. The vacation video is gonna be coming out tomorrow evening around six or seven. Absolutely. And uh yeah. And if you're interested in our shirts. We'll leave a link below because y'all ask every week where our shirt's from. My shirt came from my cousin, but it also came from Amazon. And it, yeah. <laughs> it happened after I... She brought the shirt with her, so she must have knew something crazy was about to happen. After I messed my dang old thumb up, she gave me this shirt. And she said, you need to put this on now. And it says, but, but did, did you, you die? die? Say, oh, child from Hangover. Yep. But all right, y'all, straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up, two, two down. Holla.